Bitch, I just say the truth can Say must, strange arrangements At the end of the street Oh, so long, so long, Hebrews, Hebrews. I knew what I meant to say, too. I forget. Now that I got the uh, phony bootleg debate out of the way. See, he faking. I just posted he wasn't, he wasn't trying to get on. It literally had my thing with accept. I hit accept about three, four times. But look, this is what I got to tell y'all. Oh, y'all hear that? Ah, catch me in the woods. Drive tickets, takes all good, they shooting. They said the news in the hood, they shooting. Just for the bruise in the hood. They get on the ah, catch me in the woods. That a lot of tickets, takes all good, they shooting. They said the news in the hood, they shooting. Just for the bruise in the hood. Hey, bro, and I'm getting down, y'all here? Necessary. He rules the necessary. It's all on top of this shit. Had on this side of flick shit. But the patient makes it gotta see the position. But we can never prosper. Yeah, yeah, they getting down. Hey, look, right? I want to tell y'all, man, look. I see everything going down on Facebook. And I'm going to be honest with y'all. A lot of it is just because people ain't in their classes no more. Y'all know classes that got shut down, unfortunately, due to this COVID and all that. And you starting to see a lot of people's feelings come out. It's un- That's why it's unhealthy for us not to gather. So I'm gonna tell y'all, man, y'all need to maintain, man. Y'all know y'all see me say some stuff and all that, but in real talk, brothers and sisters need each other, but I seen that yesterday with the whole abortion thing, people going at Aza, and this all I wanna say. So y'all call all the sisters in here. I want you to call every sister in here. This ain't gonna take me five minutes, because I want y'all to hear what I'm gonna say. And if y'all feel some type of way, y'all can cuss me out when y'all see me. If you ain't scared, because y'all know I keep it funky. Hey, I can y'all hear me? Hit, man. Salute. Hit, Salute, Rod. Call all the sisters in here. Call all the sisters in here. I need them to come in here. Because I'm going to tell you how embarrassing this been on Facebook. I'm finna say something to y'all that ain't normally spoke of. They go, they go one of my sweethearts, heart. Heart pure love. Love you, so Shalom. I know you got strong skin, so call all the sisters in here. I gotta tell them something. Tag all of them, even ones that don't like me. I'm about to tell y'all something real quick. I'm finna tell y'all what just happened. Let me know. It's only eight in here. Now, I just have 40 some people. I know y'all probably tired of me. Come on in here, y'all. Come on, Jessica. I see you, Jessica, all the way. What up, sis? Get some more sisters in here. I'm trying to get y'all about 10 more seconds. If not, go back and look at it. I'm going to tell y'all something. Okay. I'm finna say something to y'all, right? Remember how I wore that song out? I'ma do the same one like that. Well, this one actually is a soundtrack of Hebrews in the Hood. So, y'all know how that goes. So, I gotta play this up. Can y'all hear me clear? What's up, sis? Oh, so you can hear me. All right, cool. Listen to this. I'm finna tell y'all something. Listen. Oh, damn. It stopped. You messed me up, Jessica. Hot dog it. It's your fault. Oh, now they're going to make me try to do all this download over again. Ain't this about a bleepity blank blank bleep? They literally making me trying to download. All I did was hit the screen. No, I got a touch screen laptop. Okay. Alright, so listen. Alright, this what happened, y'all. Y'all seen the post yesterday. Our brother Ozzy put up. He put a post up about abortion. A lot of people got in their feelings over that post. And it was said that he could have said it better. Let's keep it real, though. 
When I make a post about we need to stop killing each other, black on black men need to stop gang banging and shooting each other, nobody says, oh, you said that too rough. Nobody says that. You see what I'm saying? So we got to stop that. We got to stop it. And then you have brothers jumping out the trees with capes on. I ain't going to even say their name. And I know they know better, but I'm thinking, the ones that got wives, I understand it. Them brothers need some loving that night. I ain't talking about y'all. You might as well not say nothing. Because you're going to probably catch hell in your house. But it's older brothers on there getting down on this brother. They didn't call this man a Pharisee. They call Asa a Pharisee. Because of what he said in his post about sisters need to keep their leg closed. Let me say a few things. I don't know what era y'all grew up in, but all our parents told the girls in our family to keep their damn legs closed. So what was different than what he said? He didn't cuss at nobody. He didn't call nobody a hoe. That's what he said. And then I'm going to tell y'all the worst part about all this, right? My brother Aza made a post about women, about we trying to figure out how to stop abortions. Which if y'all don't know, it come from eugenics, Margaret Sanger. That's where the Nazis and Hitler and them learned how to kill the fake Jews in Germany. They learned from Margaret Sanger, the chick who created Planned Parenthood. Why you think they only in black neighborhoods? They, they, they not in no other neighborhood like that. Well, this the whole thing he was trying to say. But he said it kind of he, he said it kind of blunt. You know, he said, um, sisters keep your legs closed. And sisters got offended and got to talking about the man. Well, the man is the head. How the man the head of a woman that ain't even got a wife, that, that ain't even got a husband? Because we know how the law went. You went from your daddy's house, meaning you had a daddy that was your covering, and then you went to a husband. A lot of these women ain't even got no daddy. So that's a whole nother story. But the point was, the brother was just telling the sisters to keep their legs closed and don't be having casual sex, and it won't lead to abortions. That's all he was saying. But they jumped on this brother as if he said something evil. And I'm like, this was the most disgraceful looking stuff if we supposed to be in the truth. Y'all feel me? We supposed to be in the truth. And you actually got people rocking with this. But I'm going to tell you what made it worse. Because it was some sisters with some sense on there taking up for Ozzy. Like, no, the brother ain't saying nothing wrong. Sister was on there saying, yeah, we need to keep our legs closed. But I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all. And I, I hope not to lose no friends over this. Because I love y'all. But if so, it is what it is. But I'm the one to say what other people won't say. I'm going to be honest with you. When we make posts about black on black crime, brothers gang banging, killing each other and all that. You know what's crazy? It's brothers like me and other brothers, right? That actually be the biggest advocate for that. I am one of the biggest advocate for us not killing each other, brothers. You know why? Because I used to be a part of that lifestyle. Us shooting each other. Trying to kill each other. So I thought about it. I said the reason a lot of these sisters is so upset is because they had abortions. So they feel like, you know, they feel like that's that blood on their hands. That's they murder. See, we used to talking about the brothers killing each other. But we ain't used to talking about the murder that a woman can do because she's the weaker vessel. The only power they get is in their womb. They control you before you even come out the belly. So a lot of women that had abortions felt some kind of way. That's what it was. Well, it shouldn't have been that way. You know what them women that had abortion should have felt like? Well, yeah, I did it. I'll never do it again. And they should tell other sisters not to do it. Not get into those, oh, it was the man fault I had an abortion. That is goofy. That is goofy. Men, 
We literally say, I was gang banging. I shot a few cats. I probably would have killed you back in the day. And I turned my life around. I would never kill nobody else again. But when it comes to a woman, it's like, oh, I got to find a way to deflect this on the cat that got me pregnant. That cat that got you pregnant did not walk in that clinic and get that shit sucked up out of them. He did not. Let's keep it real 100. Now, on that same note, it was brothers that co-signed a boy. I'm finna go on here and go 100 with y'all. Just to show y'all how real I am. Back when I was about, I ain't gonna even say my age, but I was a teenager, y'all. I did something to this day I regret. Sister called me. I ain't gonna say her name because she my Facebook friend. And she used to be in love with me. And watch this. It was biblical. As game bangers as I was, she was a virgin, y'all. I had a virgin. Everybody wanted her. Nobody touched her. Right? I got her. You know how it is when you the certain cat around. Females love that. They love that reputation and all that. I had her, Joe. I dealt with her. Popped her cherry and everything. Now, we talking grown up, y'all. So if y'all want the kids to see this or not, that's up to y'all. But I broke the hymen. She was a virgin, right? Do you know I was such a jerk when I was young? She hit me up a few weeks later, because we, we did what we did a couple times, and said she was pregnant. I don't even tell nobody about this, but I'm telling y'all to make some of these sisters get themselves in line. Let them know that it ain't just y'all, it's the brothers too. Stop thinking we picking at y'all because we finally saying something about y'all. We talk about each other all the time. Do y'all know that sister called me a few weeks later and said she was pregnant? Y'all know what my dumbass response was? I asked, I said, and this back when we had house phones. I answered the house phone and said, so why are you telling me? That's the worst stuff ever. When I knew that girl ain't been with nobody else, I knew her mama, I knew her family, and it was such a disgrace because... She was actually related to my God brother. He hooked me up with her. Couldn't nobody else get with her. But I was such a jerk. I popped her cherry. And then about three weeks, we was having sex a few times. So she was a virgin. And then after that, when she hit me up and said she was pregnant, I think it was about a month later or something. Probably a little month longer than that. And you know what my response was? I asked her, why was she telling me? So I understand when sisters say that. I said that, but guess what? I was a teenager. I didn't know no better. I didn't know no better. I didn't care about a woman. I didn't care about life and none of that. But to this day, I feel bad about it. I feel bad about it right now. You know what I'm saying? Because she know what she did. She hit me back up a few days later because I was selling drugs. And she asked me, well, how much you get? And I think back then it was like $500, 250 something like that. I forget. You know, to go to the abortion clinic. We used to call it the chop shop. To go to the chop shop. To see how real I'm keeping it with, with y'all? To let y'all know I ain't, I ain't one-sided and phony. I gave her the money. I'm like, man, look, go on, go on take care of that. Man, you know how I look at that now? That's a body under my belt. That's murder. Me and her were co-conspirators in murder. But the sad part about it is, she wanted to hide the baby. She was just scared. So when she seen that I didn't want it, she didn't want it. Because her mama was super strict. Her family was strict. So I understand when that happened. So stop thinking that brothers don't relate. I do know. I know what some brothers I had as foul. So now that I said that, I hope you sisters then opened y'all self up to understand that that has absolutely nothing to do. So look, on top of my game banging and shooting Negroes, I got to tuck that body under my belt too because I'm responsible for it. You feel me? Now, think of how many brothers that had sex with a female and she just went and had an abortion the brother didn't have nothing to do with it. 
The brother might have said, uh, I know brothers that told sisters, don't get rid of my baby. I've heard brothers tell sisters, do not get rid of my baby. And you know what the sisters say? This my body. You can't tell me what to do. Okay. So that ain't on that brother. That's on her. She committed murder by herself. Let's stop. Ain't no head, none of that mess. She committed murder by her damn self. She chose to murder that child. Point blank, period. Then you got situations where it would be a brother and a sister and the brother don't even know that she was pregnant. And she go on her own and terminate the pregnancy without that brother knowing. Then he find out later. Guess what she did? You murdered a whole entire side of a family without this man having any say so over it. You know why? Because it was your body. So if that's the case, that y'all see how fair I'm keeping this? We're opening up with me being a part of that murder before. If the man ain't got nothing to do with you going to commit an abortion, that is blood on your hands, ladies. You are not children. You, you are human beings just like we are. I'm not saying that the situation don't got nothing to do with a man because you winded up pregnant. But ultimately, it is your body. You opened up your legs like the brother was saying and you let a man in you. So you opened the door to get pregnant. So after you get pregnant, if you're not going to let that man make a decision on whether you had a child or not, then you can't blame him for what you do after that. You did that. You know who you became? You did the Eve. You went off on your own and bit the fruit. You see what I'm saying? You can't throw that on Adam. We got to keep this real, Joe. It's a time. You know why Adam was guilty for it? Because Adam didn't keep his woman cuffed tight close to him. That's all it was. And whether y'all brothers and sisters like it or not, our women is grown. They can be even smarter than us. They can have degrees. They can have all type of stuff going on. But our women are built to be covered by us. It is 100% fact. I don't care what they say. Okay, how independent they is, how smart they is. Our women was built to be covered by a man. Think about it. Just think about what everything going on in our community. We only messed up because it's single mamas. But then we try to blame the single mamas. But the only reason it's single mamas is because it ain't no daddy there. So if you take the daddy, you take the man out the house, what do you think going to happen? See, we really connected. It shouldn't be no you, me, you, me. It should be us. We both jacked up. Our women need us. I don't care about that tough facade they put on. Bro, if they, if, if they didn't need us, I'm telling you right now, the reason we are destroyed is because our black families don't have us, the men. That's a fact. They'll even tell you that on the sneak side. Why do you think they say terms like be a man? Do you ever hear somebody say be a woman? Be a real woman. Nobody says that. You know why don't nobody say that? Because be a man, be a real man is a standard higher. So subconsciously they say it even though they don't think they agree with it. A man is a strong standard. That is a fact. And women shouldn't try to be men and men shouldn't try to be girls. I don't understand what the big deal is. Once we come to that understanding, we have no problem. But we need each other to click. So I'm going to say this one last thing. As far as I know my, and I'm going to let y'all know, my brother Ozzy did not know I was going to go live and say this. But I was laughing at him all day yesterday. Because the sister's at his head over there at abortion post. Y'all know why I was laughing? Because Ozzy is the nicest. Y'all know how nice he is. But I'm about to say something to some of you sisters that's going to hide shame. He is the only Hebrew Israelite that does a Sabbath show with two sisters teaching. Do you know how many Hebrew Israelite brothers came to me that don't like that? They ain't feeling it.
man, they got them sisters up them teaching. That don't feel right. And I'd be like, well, he's going off Titus too. So it's really the sisters teaching the sisters. It just so happened that brothers tune in. But do you know that brother take all that ridicule because he wanted the sisters to teach the sisters. Now all of a sudden, he's a male chauvinist. And he's only talking about uh, abortion. Y'all need to stop. So some of them same women that's been tuning in to the Wake Up Show, to his show with the sisters, that's been liking everything he say, giving them praise, then flipped on him because now the finger pointed at them for their evil. You see how phony that is, man? Y'all did that brother like that? When it was brothers telling him he looked crazy for having sisters sitting up there teaching. Like he had a cape on or something. Y'all ain't even thought about that. Y'all did that brother wrong and dirty just because, I'm going to keep it real, in the scriptures, when it talk about a hearty woman, and I broke down last time in my video, a hearty woman is a proud, stuck-up woman. You can't tell her nothing. You know what a hearty woman is? A narcissist. She's narcissistic, meaning no matter what she does wrong, she going to deflect it, and it's somebody else's fault. It ain't never her fault. It's the man's fault. And you know what's crazy? I started saying that now it's the hair fault when they ain't even got no head. How the hell is the hair fault when you ain't got no head? Some of these sisters that was talking about it's the hair fault, not only do they got, ain't got no husband, they ain't got no daddy. So who the hell is your head? You know what they're going to say? Christ my head. So you saying Christ your fault? Ooh, do y'all want to get deep? So it, so so hold up. If, 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 if you ain't got no husband, he ain't your head. And you ain't got no daddy, he ain't your head. And Christ is your head. So you saying Christ is your fault because he the head. Is that what you saying? Come on, man. Y'all need to stop talking like that. We need to cut it out. Sisters, accept what y'all wrong because we rarely talk about it. We deal with the men more than anything. When we talking about gang banging, drug dealing, uh, false doctrine, false prophets, uh, stealing, adultery, we normally talking about the men. We rarely talk about the sisters. But when it's y'all time to take these jabs, take them too. Because y'all don't want me to go to Ecclesiastes 9, Ecclesiastes 7, well, what the book really say about what's more bitter than death. You know what the book says is more bitter than death? A bitter woman says it's worse than death. So is God a chauvinist? So you don't want to fall under that. I'm going to tell y'all this last thing before I get off. And y'all know I love women. Like, it's, it's famous that I love women. Like, I didn't been accused of being, you know, I think they think I got multiple wives. I ain't got one. That's because I flirt so much. I love women. I just love Israelite women. I'm going to keep it real. Like, you ain't never got to worry about me going out and getting me no uh, Moabite one, but whatever they try to say. I love Israelite women. I love it. I like that little feisty stuff, you know, as long as it's under control. But y'all got to get y'all self in order, man. Ain't nobody finna just let you get a pass on every wicked deed. Because I'm going to be honest with you. Man, look. When you read them scriptures... The low, hey, let me ask y'all a question. Okay, you know how sisters always say, well, if he a righteous head, I'll listen to him. But like, 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 this is the crazy thing. As if they got the menu on what a righteous head is, right? L let me show y'all how funny this finna go, right? What y'all don't understand is, according to the scriptures, if y'all want to be real, your man is above your pay grade. And I'm going to keep it 100 with you. The Lord created women to improve our life. He didn't create a man to improve a woman's life. He created the woman to improve a man's life. Now, I want y'all to hear me out. I know some of y'all women going to be like, oh, just, just listen to it. Because you gonna, everything I'm saying, we can read it without a filter. You know what I'm saying? And you're going to see I ain't lying. He made y'all to make our life better. Right? He didn't make Eve to stress Adam ass out. He didn't make Eve to drive Adam to the point of suicide. He didn't do that. 
He made Eve to make life, uh, uh, Adam life better. So when that whole thing went down with them, yeah, bam, the sentence got passed on us, right? Because Adam let her do it. That's the whole point. That's what we're both responsible at. So let's look at this, right? So think about this. Um, oh, I can get so deep. Oh, I can get so deep, Joe. Y'all got to think about this, man. If you look at Numbers, the 30th chapter, when they talk about the vows, the vows, go read Numbers, the 30th chapter. If that don't stick out to y'all how important the head is, it tell you in Numbers, the 30th chapter, read the whole chapter, y'all read it for yourself. It literally tells you that a vow is something that can get you killed when you talking to God, right? So you talking to God and you make a vow. He talked to the men first. He tell them, man, dude, don't make no vow unless you can keep it or I'm going to kill you. This is, I'm paraphrasing Numbers 30. Go read it, y'all, right now. Y'all can read it while I'm talking. But you know what happened after that? He started talking to the woman, right? And you know what he tell the woman? You make a vow, the only person can stop me from killing you if you break it is guess who? Your daddy or your husband. So you know how deep that is? That means, while y'all talking about you don't want to listen to your husband, but you married this man, guess what? When you married this man, you trusted him with your life. You ain't just trust him with some decisions. You trusted him with your life. Because in Numbers 30, what it's telling you is you could go talk to the Lord as a woman, right? You could pray to the Lord, make some type of crazy vow that you know you can't keep. And if your husband hear it, he could say, uh-uh, God. He could actually intercede, intercept your prayer. He can cut into your prayer and talk to God and say, no, nah, man. My wife tripping, God. She was just talking. And you know what it say? It say God will hear him and give you a pass. He won't kill you. Come on. And you mean to tell me your man don't deserve reverence? When he can save your life with the most powerful creation on earth? Think about it. As much as a woman was made for a man, she cannot save God. Save us from God. A woman cannot intercede in a man's affair with God. She can't. That's why I tell y'all, if your head is messed up, if your man is messed up, it's above your pay grade. The Lord got to deal with your husband, not you. But if your woman, brothers, is messed up, you got to intervene into that. Now, it don't mean that it might, it might not work. You might have a wicked ass woman that ain't trying to hear nothing. Well, guess what? That blood off your hands. You tried. The Lord going to deal with her. But only the man got the power to save his woman's life in their foolishness. Guess what? If we foolish, they can't save us. So if that ain't enough, why some sisters clapping and some brothers like, well, yeah. Listen to what they're saying. Your man should be reverenced. You should reverence your man. People be tripping off uh, Sarah calling Abraham Lord and all that. But I'm thinking to myself, if, if some people decide to do that, what's the big deal? That's your husband. That is supposed to be the closest person in your life. Like literally. We got to stop this Western mindset we get. There's nothing weak about a woman submitting to a man that's doing what he's supposed to do. He righteous. This is your Lord of your house. According to scriptures. Are you serious? Are y'all serious? Because I'm tired of the excuses. Y'all always say, well... He got to be righteous or what if he wicked? But then I ask you, where your judgment at? Tell me what classifies your husband as being not righteous. Is it because he got a bad attitude? Is it because his feet stink? Is it because he don't feel like being bothered sometimes? Ain't none of that in the law. 
Is that man protecting you, providing for you, loving you? Then that's what make him righteous. Now, the other things, the other little innuances, y'all got to work on. That's just being normal. Come on, man. So I'm doing this, and y'all know, know, and I know some women ain't going to like this, but a lot of them that's real going to like it. Because I talk to older women, too. Older women don't even see what we tripping off of. Because it's a reason that back then, them sisters weren't popping their coochie like that. They got married at a young age, and they stayed with our granddaddies forever. Right? They stayed with them. But now... The feminist movement rolled in. All the women want to have a dingaling like a man, and and, and it, it ain't it's, it's stupid, and it ain't giving men a pass because lead that up to the brothers. We talk to each other. We counsel each other. I will tell a brother in a minute, hey bro, you don't need to be out there trying to um you know dip off in no in no box like that, Joe, because. If you ain't gonna take, if you ain't gonna keep her and take care of her, you know what you're doing? You're whoremongering. You're adding to whoredom in the land. That's what whoredom is. Whoredom don't just mean a woman. Yeah, the woman is the whore, but whoredom is an activity. So you got a whoremonger who creates the whore, or uh, 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 he adds to the whore. So it takes two to make whoredom. So brothers got to know, nah, man, I ain't finna, I ain't finna do that. You know what I'm saying? Unless you want about three, four wives around here where you can barely pay your car note. You see what I'm saying? How you gonna, black women, especially Israelite women? Whew, I ain't gonna even get on that. Boy, that's why I ain't even been tripping off being single lately. I want me another, I want to get married again, but I'm like, I get to looking in my pocket. I'm like, I got a little money on me right now. No, I don't want no other wife right now, because boy, pfft, that's going to be shot. You know what I'm saying? But on a serious note, before I get off, I'm telling my brothers and my sisters, because I seen a lot of brothers, I seen sisters, you know, but this is the point I want to make. I seen sisters on there that went at that brother. And these are some of his biggest supporters. These are people that care about my brother. These are people that he consider friends. They actually act like the man threw a newborn baby down a flight of stairs. Like I said on my post, they act like y'all seen The Walking Dead. They act like he had Negan's back and just started beating a woman with it. Well, all he said was, we can stop abortion by closing your legs. They went crazy. They act like he drove his car into an old lady standing by the ATM. Like they act like Aza literally became a serial killer. They act like this brother walked into a old uh uh what's that they be playing? Bingo. He act like they walk he walked into an old folks bingo home and blew himself up and just killed all old ladies. This how they act. Well, all the brother said was keep your legs closed. How many of our mamas and daddies told us, our women in our family, keep your damn legs closed? Now, all of a sudden, they can't take that. Come on, man. I'm just being honest. We got to stop. And I keep saying my last thing because this thing went further than I wanted it to. But I got to say this last thing. Some people are not going to like this either. And if you don't, I pray to the most high that at one point you see what I'm saying, right? I know I can be a little rough around the edges and I say stuff, but I've been through stuff. And I'm going to tell you, ain't nothing more that I love than my Hebrew Israelite women. I love Negro women. Like, it's something about y'all. Even though y'all get on my damn nerves, y'all the worst to deal with. Like, I understand, though, because of the curses. I know why I, I evil towards each other. I understand but if you get one that submit, and I mean submit too, they hate that word. You know, that's like cussing out their dead grandmama. But when I say submit, I don't just mean submit to a man. I mean that submit to the will of God. If you get a black woman that submit to the will of God, submitting to you ain't nothing. 
I promise them the most beautiful women on earth. Don't nobody want to hear that all the damn time. Don't nobody want to hear that. You don't want to hear, don't no man want to live 80 years with that mess, man. Think about it. I know I don't. I ain't going to lie to y'all. I'm going to say this. Man, sometimes I be getting a little lonely. I be like, man, and look, I be having sisters I talk to in the inbox. I talk to on text. You know, you know how I go. I mean, I'm I'm free. I can talk to who I want to. I be sizing them up. I be sizing them up, you know. And then I get to thinking like, uh, you know, they real sweet. Because you know how Israelite women get you. They be, oh, yeah, you know. They be super sweet. The voice sound good. You see how fine they is. You like, yeah, boy, this boy, she might be a straight serial killer. Straight serial killer. Like real talk, a straight up lunatic. And I know they be thinking the same thing. I heard some sisters say, brothers was all smooth, like, yeah, you know, I got you, Akoti. You know, baby, I got you. You know, uh, I'm going to cover you. I'm going to be your head, baby. You know what I'm saying? Then they get with him and the mug snapping out over mashed potatoes. Why you let my mashed potatoes touch my peas? They like, where did this come from? You know what I'm saying? The mug snapping because the mashed potatoes touched his peas on the plate. You be like, bro, I didn't, you know, they look like I didn't see this coming when you was teaching the lesson about virtuous women. <laughs> so my story is we got some nuts on both sides, the man and the woman. We're damaged goods, y'all. Y'all got to understand that. Brothers, if your woman ain't a virgin, she didn't deal with other men. She got some damage to her. Now, to what extreme, you don't know. Sisters, even though it ain't really the same with a brother because whether y'all like it or not, brothers have more than one wife. That don't necessarily taint him. But what does taint him is the dealing with of those other women. So that's where we're equal. Because if a man... Just left a woman and she was straight up tink tink tartar sauce. All he going to think is his head, man, this woman was retarded. Then he going to get him a new woman who, who all super sweet. And he going to be thinking in his mind, is she tink tink tartar sauce? And then he fight that. And, and sometimes you might not be tink tink tartar sauce. But you might do something and he be looking like, man, that's the same stuff my wife used to do, Joe. <laughs> hey, it might be the way she wiped the table. Like if she wiped the table the wrong, she don't wipe it. She wipe it counterclockwise. You like, man, my wife used to do that, Joe. You know, they be messed up. So brothers be traumatized too. Like, man, I didn't got, I didn't, I didn't got caught up again. You know what I'm saying? So. All I'm saying is, man, if y'all come in at the end of this video, go back and watch it from the beginning. My point is, I did this out of defense, not only out of defense of my brother, but I did this because to my sisters in Israel, look here, y'all. If somebody bring up a sin that's exclusive to the women in Israel, accept it. If the shoe don't fit, don't wear it. Now, if the shoe do fit, you probably more than likely to repent it for it already, so it shouldn't even hurt you. The brothers, we for the most part know, but I'm gonna remind them that might be new brothers in the truth. If you see uh maybe a sister put a post up about certain stuff that ratchet Negroes do, and you know that's something that you used to do, and if it's against the law and it's evil, repent for it. It's nothing. Get over it. Change your life. Don't do it no more. But what we can't do, because it's a reason that they, they say it's 613 laws in the Torah. I never counted them. I don't know how many it is. But what I will tell y'all is, it's a reason that some of those laws are gender specific. Have y'all ever thought about that? There's certain laws in the Torah. Nobody can follow 613 laws. 
So whenever somebody say that dumb stuff to y'all in the future, you don't follow 613 laws. Say, of course I don't. Because all 613 ain't made for you. Some are gender specific. You got some that's specifically for women and you got some that's specifically for men. And you got some that cover the whole nation, male and female. See, this is how simple-minded people is. Like, I'm just going to say this quick. You got certain laws with the uncleanliness of a birth. That's with a woman. If she have a man child or if she have a girl, she unclean for certain times. That don't apply to a man. See that? That's silly. Nobody thinks it is. So nobody follows 613 laws, dummy. For anybody like that Torah only nigga that was trying to debate me but ran up out talking about I didn't accept it, but you see I was accepting it. Um, you got certain stuff that only apply to a man. I'm trying to think of what's, what's some laws that only apply to a man. Um, well, we got something that applies to the priest. But we got laws too. I don't feel like sitting here blowing my brain. That only apply, apply to a man. It does not apply to a woman because it's not a law for a woman. It's a law for that man. So with that being said, man, let's get it together, y'all. Yeah, and biggest thing, men and men and women know right from wrong. I, I'm this how I'm gonna end it, y'all, because I've been talking too long. It's been damn near an hour. This how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna read y'all comments. If y'all ask a question, I might respond to it. But yeah, but that's the thing though, y'all. You know, um, you know, men and women, man, we, you know, we 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 both been through it. I don't know why we making this a war. We making this a war, brothers against sisters. Like, I'm looking at some of these posts after Oza post, right? Y'all forgive me. My lips getting super dry. I do not know why. But um, I'm looking at some of these posts, and it's brothers and sisters making spinoff posts. And I'm like, what, is that even called for? Like, is that called for for real, though? It's people making posts about brothers and sisters and it looks so miserable it looked miserable it looked very miserable and and, and i swear it made me not even want to get married again yeah ozzy you know that's because the ua is dummies though that's why they say that the, the urban apologists are dummies so they'll say we can't keep 613 laws but now y'all know next time they say that to y'all say 613 laws don't apply to me dummy that's all you gotta do we just got to be smarter than them. This is our book. We, our forefathers created these laws, so we know how it go. We're making it a war because no one wants to be held accountable. And that's, y'all see what Sister Ann Bickerstaff just said? That's one of my fake Facebook wives. You know, y'all be seeing us going back and forth joking. That's one of my, she actually a concubine, but I'm trying to graduate her to wife when she act right. But Ann... What she just said is true. She said nobody wants to take accountability. That's why it's become like a male-female war. Because I'm going to keep it real. I'm looking at the sisters talking, and they keep saying, oh, I got to say this. I'm glad you said that, Ann. Do y'all know the sisters, I, certain sisters, keep saying that we never talk about the brother's garbage we only talk about the women. Now, hold on, y'all. Right, let's test this right now. Let's test this theory. Y'all can go on my Hebrews in the Hood channel on YouTube. See how many lessons I get about the sisters compared to the lessons I got to the brothers. I might have two in five years on the sisters. The other hundred is on the brothers. And then, you know why that's retarded? Because most of the teachers that teach these sisters who say that are what? Men. And guess what? These men used to be in the streets like us. So they always teaching about what we do to each other. So how the hell is men never teaching about what men do when that's 90% of the conversation? You know what that means? It's just because when that 
5% or so come up with the woman, oh, that's too much. Oh, if you talk about a woman's sins one day out the month, but you talked about the man's sins three weeks out the month, that one day is too much. And that's where it's unbalanced. And y'all need to stop that because it looked bad. That's where we fall into the scriptures. If you go to Ecclesiastes, ooh, I ain't going to even say it. Ozzy, you know the scripture, Ecclesiastes, the forbidden. I ain't going to even say it. But it's a reason to say what it say. Ecclesiastes is said for a reason. And it talk about women. It talk about women. It talk about them ones that's bitter. Say they worse than death. Don't say that about no man. So y'all got to stop. Because that's the category you fall under. And let me say one more thing. It's another reason that the book talk about a virtuous woman. Oh, is we going to go there? Do y'all really want to go there about the virtuous woman that everybody like to quote? Do everybody quote Proverbs 31? Do y'all really want to talk about the virtuous woman? Because I've talked to this with some sisters. So some sisters, they already know what's up. It ain't going to hurt their feelings. How do... Man, let's go and go there. Let's get y'all books. Sisters, cover y'all here. Brothers, uncover you I didn't even want to do this. But let's go and do this. Because a lot of sisters be quoting Proverbs 31. And I know damn well they ain't read Proverbs 31. I'm serious. We got to stop this because since it's always on the brother, let's look at Proverbs 31, right? Now, mind you, mind you, this was deep. Do y'all realize Proverbs 31 is not one of the verses out of all the wisdom of Solomon? This came from a woman. Do y'all peep this? Proverbs 31 was taught by a woman teaching her son or grandson, I think it was, Lemuel. Did y'all know that? Did y'all pay this any attention? So this ain't chauvinistic because it ain't coming from a man. It's coming from a woman. And listen to what it say. Proverbs, the 31st chapter. Y'all see where this going. Yeah, a lot of sisters finna bounce off right now. They don't want to hear this. Now, this coming from a woman. Proverbs 31. The words of King Lemuel. The prophecy that his mother taught him. So this King Lemuel, now study about, that's a whole other story about who that is. Was he Israelite and all that type of stuff. We, we, that's something we'll talk about. But this is King Lemuel's mother teachings. That she taught King Lemuel. Nobody reads that part. Listen to it. What my son, she talking to her son. She say, and what? The son of my womb. You hear that? So this Lemuel's mother saying, you the son of my womb. So she giving her son some game. Listen to what she say. Give not thy strength unto women. Hold up. Wait, y'all love to quote Proverbs 31, but y'all don't read this part. It say, give not thy strength to women. So sisters in here that's looking, what do that mean? Why is this woman of God telling her son, don't give his strength to women? You know, like we call them simps, cats with the capes on, dudes they got panties on, all that. You know all them friends. This is what she tell them. Don't give your strength to women. Listen to this. It say, uh, nor, nor, nor thy ways to that which destroyeth kings. So she telling you, Joe, don't be in your panties. Don't be soft with these women or none of them ways that'll destroy a king. Now, if y'all understand how deep that is, because a king, think about it, men rule the world. Ain't nothing stronger than a man with power. A woman can't do nothing with that. But you know what's funny about that? 
The only person can bring a strong man down. This man might have an empire. You know what can bring him down? Can't no other killer man bring him down. Can't no other cold man bring him down. That could just grab a woman by her neck and snap it like she ain't nothing. You know what can bring him down? A woman. Because he getting his feelings. Like he say, he give his strength to her. Get to telling her too much. Get the, you know, falling for the, for you know it. It's a woman that can bring down the strongest man on earth. Y'all see how deep this is? So watch this. It say, give not thy strength unto women, nor thy ways to that which destroyeth kings. So look, right? It is not for kings, O Lemuel. It is not for kings to drink wine. Did she tell all the things that kings shouldn't do too much? That'll bring you down. So let me skip down. Because we want to get back to it. Uh, let me see. Open our mouth, dumb. Open our mouth, judge. Okay, now, now, here goes the virtuous woman. You notice they skip past all that? Here go the virtuous woman. This is what it say. Verse 9. It say, Open thy mouth, judge the righteous, and plead the cause of the poor and needy. And guess what it say after that? Who can find a virtuous woman? Stop right there. I want y'all to read that. Look, let me put that on the camera. Look. Look at it. Look. You know why I did that? Because y'all read this and don't really pay attention when you read it. Why is that formatted as a question and not a statement? Let's go read it again. Y'all read with me. This is Proverbs 31 and 10. It says, who can find a virtuous woman? With a question mark. With a question mark. Meaning, majority of women are not virtuous women. It's like, damn, who can find one? Y'all ain't paying that no attention. So for you to think your doodle don't stink, you are not a, 99% of the time, you're not a virtuous woman. You might be trying to become virtuous, but you're not one. That's why it's formatted as a question. Because it's like, damn, who could find a virtuous woman? Like, where these chicks at? You see what I'm saying? No, let's keep this real. Because I know my grown-up women, it ain't going to hurt their feelings. Because they're working to become virtuous women. But stop running around with your nose to it up. You're not virtuous. According to the scriptures in God... 90% of y'all not virtuous. Not. And we look at the qualifications for a virtuous woman. Since we talk about the men, how they ain't right all the time, let's just check out what a virtuous woman is. So let's keep it going. It say, who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. Now hold on, y'all. Stop right there. I don't, y'all know I'm a historian, right? Y'all know where I'm going. Do y'all know what we lived at in the so-called Middle East over there by Jerusalem and all that? One of the biggest, uh, uh, what you would call, um, natural resources was gold, silver, uh, copper. And you know what one of the biggest one was? Rubies. Rubies, gems, pearls, and sapphires. It's saying to find a virtuous woman is like finding a damn ruby. When the last time you found the ruby? When the last time one of you brothers was kicking cans down the block and oh, there go a ruby. You just found a pure red ruby that might cost thousands of dollars. When the last time you found the ruby? You see what I'm saying? And we can apply that to gold or whatever. Right? So look at this. This showing you how rare a virtuous woman is. It ain't every woman, just because she cooked your food, you know, she might have cleaned up the front room, but then she gonna talk bad about you on Facebook, or she blabber and call the elders, all that. That ain't virtuous. That is not virtuous. That's just you doing some of the stuff you're supposed to do, but then you didn't tainted it. This is a virtuous woman. So they say, uh, let, let, let me get back to it. Uh, it say, 
uh, 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 and say, who can find a virtuous woman? Question mark. Like, nigga, if you find her, show me where they at, right? It say, um, her price is far above rubies, right? It say, the heart of her, oh, oh, here go the key. Y'all stop. I see y'all comment and I see the last, you know, I don't like to read the comments because it, it'll have me on for four hours. My phone running low. Listen, though, y'all, this, this key, read with me. Watch what it say on the next verse. It say, the heart of her husband doeth safely trust in her. Oh, 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 did y'all hear that? Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me rewind that. Now, let me say it back in English. The heart of her husband do safely trust in her. Brothers, if you got a woman that your heart safely trusts in, meaning you trust her with all your secrets, you trust her with your information, you trust her, I don't care how y'all get into it, she ain't going to bring it up to hurt your feelings. She ain't going to go tell somebody else. She ain't going to call the police on you. She ain't going to put it on Facebook. If, if they don't do none of that, you probably got a woman you can trust. Now watch this, right? It say, uh, the heart of her husband do safely trust in her. So that he shall have no need of spoil. Continue. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. Oh, stop. I can't no more. I just can't. I can't, y'all. I, I can't do this. Did y'all hear that? It say that a virtue, if you, you want to know if you got a virtue, it's reading off the qualifications of a virtuous woman. It says she will do him good and not evil all the days of his life. Not some of the days of his life, not Monday through Thursday, but on Sunday, she going to do him evil. Not Tuesday through. It say all the days of his life, she will not do him evil, but good. Bro, who got that? Who get it? But we always talk about the men, though. So come on, let's 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 do this. Since we've been wanting to do this, let's do this. We doing this according to the book. Not what Mikael breakdown is. Go get y'all Bible. This is not no special KJV. This ain't the uh, Zabushabin. You know how cats be popping up with these new Bibles. This is your regular KJV. This that same virtuous woman y'all be always paraphrasing and quoting but y'all I know y'all ain't never read it cause it's telling you the qualifications of one and it's telling you how hard it is to find one so look at this <laughs> but y'all talk about the men though so look right it's say like verse 13 oh boy do I gotta go here I don't think I need to go here cause this goes into how she'll even work from home like, she a housewife, but she might want to run a business and help you run your business. That's what it goes into, right? It says she seeketh wool and flax and working willingly with her hands. She is like merchant ships. She bringeth her food from afar. So this is basically talking about a woman, like, say, if you really taking care of her like a man should. And um, I understand how it is now. Women and men are split 50-50 because it just costs so much to live together. But if you are the sole provider and your woman a housewife, she still might want to work from home. That's really what it's talking about. So she can help you run your business. She can sell land. She can, she can do her own little job from home. This is what it's talking about. It says she's seeking with a flag. Verse 14, she is like the merchant ships. She bringeth her food from afar. She rises also while it is yet night and giveth meat to her household and a portion to her maidens. So look at this, right? It says she riseth also while it is yet night and giveth meat to her household and a portion to her maidens. So you know how some sisters be like the husband to ask her, hey baby, uh, I'm tired. Could you go fix me a sandwich? 
They'll be like, nigga, your hands work. This right here say she'll get up in the middle of the night to go fix a sandwich for not only the family, but whoever else is visiting. Like, if it's some guests there. This just what she do. This just natural. But you got sisters now be like, nigga, your hands work. <laughs> that ain't virtuous. It ain't virtuous. It's not. It's not femininity. It's just not. So let's keep going. 16. She considereth the field and buyeth it. With the fruit of her hand, she planted the vineyard. Now that's deep. So, say you a brother, right? Say you a truck driver, son, and your sister and your wife working from home, right? And say you trust, uh, you trust her with all your heart, like you said earlier. So you ain't worried about what she do with money. She ain't irresponsible. She ain't going to put y'all in no hole. It's saying, while you doing that, she'll be at home and she might peep some land or something and she might want to buy it. Do you hear that? Look, it say she considered the field and buy it. With the fruit of her hands, she planted the vineyard. So she might buy some land, plot it, she might grow a garden. Look, this is a businesswoman. She might do all type of stuff. But you like, she, meaning she going to contribute to the household other than just sweeping the kitchen floor. See, they don't, they don't read this. They do not read it at all. This is a virtuous woman, though. This ain't an average woman. This is a virtuous woman. Let's continue. She guards her loins with strength and strengthen. Strengthen her arms. Uh, it says she perceiveth that her merchandise is good. Her candle goeth not out by night. You know when it say her candle don't go out by night. That means whenever somebody know they need some help, she there. It's like man, you know how like I could be like man, I'ma go with my brother uh at her own crib. You know I know uh you know his wife there. She going to look out for me. I ain't got nowhere to go tonight. No, she keep her candle on for you. Like Motel 6. Like I know I'm going to be able to go there, Joe. You know what I'm saying? She going to make sure I got a nice meal. I'm going to sleep warm. That's what that meant. Right? So look, right? It says she layeth her hands to the spindle and her hands hold the distaff. Now that's dealing with somebody, you know, spin us how you make clothes, that little thing to spin around, you make clothes, garments, all that type of stuff. Uh, you can even deal with making jewelry too. It says she stretcheth out her hand to the poor. Uh-oh. Yeah. She reaches forth her hands to the needy. So a virtuous woman, she got it in her spirit to always want to help somebody. I ain't going to lie. I'm divorced now, but that's one thing I won't put against my ex-wife. She always was trying to help somebody. She was always trying to help somebody. So let's be like, your wife will come to you like, man, baby, you think um, I can help such and such down the street? You know, they've been over there. They homeless. They power went out. Um, mm -hmm. You think I could cook this for them or you think I could um, get them this? And a man writes man and be like, yeah, baby, we could do that. You see this? This what a help. This a virtuous woman. If you don't see these qualities, she is not virtuous. She is not. Let me continue. Uh, it say, um, she is not afraid of the snow, snow, nor her household, for all her household are clothed with scarlet. So basically, that means it don't matter what weather it is, she ain't scared to get dirty, even though she might be a little. Look, she might be a little prissy and cute, but she ain't scared to get dirty if she got to. That's all that means. She maketh herself coverings of tapestry, her clothes of silk and purple. So she take care of herself. That's that mean. She like to look good for you, brothers. She ain't just laying around and damn it, jogging suits all day because you didn't got her. You know how that goes sometimes, too. I done heard them stories. She used to be bad as hell, boy. She stayed geared up once you got her. Now she just lay around with flip flops on and wife beaters like a dude. You know what I'm saying? Farting and, and with, a, with, a, with that nasty ass head rag on. 
that she been sleeping in since she was 14. No, nah, it say don't do that. She still keep herself looking good for you, brother. She still keep herself looking good. You know what I'm saying? Strength and honor, it say, um, right back to her. Uh, where is it? Her husband. Oh, 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 here you go. Uh, it say, yeah, she maketh her covering of the tapestry, her clothing is of her sick of purpose. So that means she still make herself look good. Now watch this key part. 23. Her husband is known in the gates when he sitteth among the elders of the land. Oh! Stop right there. But boom, boom, boom. So y'all done got me on preacher mode. It's saying her husband is known in the gates when he sitteth among the elders of the land. Do y'all know why I say that? That her husband is known in the gates? I'm going to tell y'all. I've witnessed it myself being in the Hebrew community for all these years. Look, it's times we've been sitting around with the elders. I'm just sitting back soaking knowledge. We kicking it. And the brother will say to another brother, man, bro, you know what? Uh, when I came over there, man, your wife made that such and such. It was so good. He'd be like, yeah, man. Then he'd be like, man, and she looked out for us, you know. She went up, she got me a little hoodie to put on, you know. We left about. Do you know what that do for that man? He over there like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because the report is good. Your wife represents you. So cats amongst the elders, they like, man, Joe. Woo. We'll tell these young brothers get a wife like you get. That's an example. Like, dude, you got a good wife. Like, we come to your house, dude. You ain't got one of them wives where we want to go sit in the other room. Like, you know, we do that anyway. Men go somewhere. Women go somewhere. We got man caves. But you don't want to go somewhere where you got to do that. Like, ooh, I don't even want to be around your wife. Do you know, man, I've seen brothers... They wife was so foul acting that other brothers didn't even want to go over their house no more. Just because they ain't like her attitude. But this the total opposite. It said you would sit amongst the elders and your report good because of your wife. They like, man, Joe, you got a good ass wife, Joe. Y'all know how Israel talk? You got a good wife, boy, man. You got you gonna have some single brother sitting up? Man, I want me one like you get, man. And you know, you're going to be sitting up and like, yeah, yeah, you know her. She all right. You know how Israelites said, we don't want to give her all the, yeah, we just can't give her all the praise she deserves. We be like, yeah, she all right. She all right. You know what I'm saying? No, she's great. You know what I'm saying? So hold up. Here, here go the other part. <laughs> Y'all know I ain't lying. Y'all know how Israel is, right? It's say, like, um, let me see where I'm at. I'm oh, 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 oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Strength and honor are her clothing, and she shall rejoice in time to come. Why do we say strength and honor is her clothing? Now, mind you, when you look at a woman that you know is a righteous woman, man, I know brothers who wives is, man, I could name them right now. Like one of my favorite Big bros, he a teacher. I ain't going to say it because I don't want to put him and his wife on, on front. But they know who they is. And I look at him and his wife. And when I see his wife, I say strength and honor is her clothing. Like you just see her like that's a real strong woman. A virtuous woman. Not that old. It ain't gonna tell that ain't no damn strong woman. That's an insecure woman. You know what I'm saying? That's a, that's a hearty woman. This woman is strong in another way. She don't try to be all in her mad business when the brother's talking. She doing her own thing in the ministry, dealing with the sisters. She dealing with the younger people. And, and she got her slot. She don't be trying to be all up in the camera like Puffy. You know what I'm saying? You know, like Puffy. She ain't all up in the video. You know what I'm saying? But she doing her thing. And y'all know who I'm talking about. If y'all from ICOJ, y'all know who I'm talking about. Strength and honor is her clothing, bro. Because you just look at her. That's a strong woman, man. Y'all know who I'm talking about. He might be on here, too. It's, it's your wife, bro, if you on here, big bro. I ain't going to say no names. Uh, 
and I see it with a few of the elders at my 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 original camp. IOG. I see it with uh you know our teacher there, his wife. Y'all know she don't be all up in the video, loud, you know, trying to be in everybody's business. But you look at it and say that strength, you know, but she doing things though, behind the scenes though. Y'all feel me? <laughs> We ain't gonna get to all that because all these campers on here, they all try to figure out who I'm talking about. They know who I'm talking about too. But anyway, so it say, um, oh, oh, here go the color, here go the killer, y'all. Verse 26. It say, she opened her mouth with wisdom. Oh, wisdom. She opened up. So look, when your wife opened her mouth, it shouldn't be, girl. Yeah, you round here, man. That nigga on Facebook acting crazy. Look, what? His bra look like Cardi B with bad. You, that's foolishness. This would say she opened her mouth with wisdom. With wisdom, right? And in her tongue is the law of kindness. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Do y'all really see what this is saying? That don't mean that your woman can't have a personality. That don't mean she can't be silly or none of that, because we are. But what it's saying is, most times when a brother hear your woman talk, she either talking some type of something. Like, she not. it's basically saying she's not a ditzy bra. She not an airhead. Your wife ain't no airhead. She going to drop some jewels, right? And then it say, what else come out of her mouth? The law of kindness. Meaning she ain't around there always cussing people out. What you looking at? Oh, I, why he up in here like that? His shoes dirty. Oh, I don't know. Look at her wig. It's <laughs> No, it say it's the law of kindness. She's a sweetheart. Right? It make people want to come back over your house because your wife is like that. That's what it means. Okay. I'm almost done because I know y'all sick of me, right? <laughs> but here go the cold part. Look at the reward for a virtuous woman. It says she looketh well to the ways of her household and eateth not the bread of idleness. So it lets you know your woman going to look out for her house. Put it like this. Your woman put her house first. She ain't trying to be in everybody else's business in their marriage. She ain't trying to put everybody else in her marriage. It says she looked to her house first. Meaning her and her husband and her kids come before anybody. She cutting out the sisters, the brothers, the uncles, the aunties, the girlfriends, the elders. What come first is her house. That's what the book say. Verse 27. I'll read it again. She looketh well to the ways of her house. As whether people know it or not, we the head of the house, but it's our woman's house. Now, I don't get that twisted and take that too far. But what it really mean is, of course, we know we call it the house of our fathers. It's the man's house. But what I mean by that is, who did you join yourself to? The woman is the one who maintains your house. I go to other scriptures talk about how a foolish woman pluck her house down with her own hands. Right? So it's, it's women got power. They can destroy your whole house. Or they can make it beautiful. Right? It say verse 28. Her children arise up and call her blessed. Her husband also. And he praised her. Bam. So y'all trying to say that we so chauvinistic, but it's telling you, if a man got a virtuous wife, a virtuous woman, not only is the kids going to say, man, ain't nobody like my mama. I love my mama. It's say her husband going to praise her. How often do y'all say that? Your husband going to praise you? Really? That's like me saying, man, Joe, look, you say what you want to, man. My baby, man, please. I'm, I'm giving her praise. Like, man, shit. 
Somebody even lie on your wife. You're going to be like, nigga, you lying. My wife ain't say or do that. That ain't my wife. Like, you're going to get her every benefit of the doubt. You're going to praise her. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, nah, my baby, she ain't never. Please. That's how it's supposed to be. That's a virtuous woman. We'll do that to a man. You feel me? It say, and I'm going to end it out because I'm at the end, right? It say, many daughters have done virtuously, but thou excellest them all. That's the point I wanted y'all to hear. So for all you sisters that start feeling kind of grim, it just said, many daughters have done virtuously. So a lot of you sisters got some virtuosity in you. You've done virtuous things. But then it say, but thou excellest them all. Well, she really kind of talked to her son too. But I like to say that to say, the virtuous woman, the one that's virtuous, that do all that, like it's like her nature, she above everybody. And then you know it because it say 30. Favor is deceitful and beauty is vain. But a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. There you go. So if you was wondering why a man will have a woman like this to the point where he praise her and his heart trusts her 100%, when well you got other scriptures, I believe that's a Michael or Malachi, that tell you, don't tell all your woman all your business. You know, the woman of your bosom. It's, it lets you know they're going to come. Don't be telling your woman all your business because women emotional. They'll be blabbing something out when y'all got into it. But this letting you know if you got a virtuous woman, it's, it's say how your heart trusts in her. Look what it say, y'all. It say many daughters have done virtuous, but thou excellest them all. Favor is deceitful and beauty is vain, but a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. This is why the man praises his woman. You know why? Because he got a woman that fear God. I ain't going to lie. If I do bump into a woman that I know fear God a hundred like I do, like she put the most high first, oh, yeah, I'm going. I'm going quick. Because whatever we get into, if she fear God, we straight. We can make it. Hell, yeah, I praise her if she fear God. Because I know it ain't nothing we can't get into that she ain't going to correct herself. You feel? She ain't going to care what people say online. She ain't going to care what her miserable girlfriend say who can't keep a man. You know, they always experts, but they can't never keep no damn man. You know what I'm saying? She ain't going to care about none of that. She going to care about her household and serving God. And she going to make sure her husband is happy. That woman... Man, please, I'll go. I ain't gonna lie, I'll, I'll fold up for that one. You know what I'm saying? And let me end it with the last part or I wouldn't be fair. Brothers, this is where the brothers come in at. After all that we just read about a virtuous woman, if you got one that's even close to this, when we know they're harder to find than rubies, right? So you know... Don't feel bad if y'all if yours ain't matching up to all these qualities. If she got about three out of the four, you just be cool with that. But look at what the last verse say, though. This to the brothers. It say, give her of the fruit of her hands and let her own works praise her in the gates. Did you hear that? It say, give her... Let, let me say that again. It say... Give her of the fruit of her hands and let her own works praise her in the gates. So, bro, that means you supposed to take care of that woman. She supposed to get the fruit of her works. All that she been doing, it is a job to be a good housewife. Even if she a worker professional, if, she, if, if you can trust in all your ability with her, no, she ain't going to do you wrong. And she... She touching all them qualities. You supposed to, man, take care of that woman. Give her the fruit of her works. And then the killer part after that is say, and let her own works praise her in the gates. And you know what's crazy about it? By her being like that, she going to get automatic praise. 
Not only is the Lord going to look out for, other people going to look out for. People going to be calling your wife for stuff. They're going to be hitting you up like, hey, bro, uh, hey, uh, my little niece and them over here, right? They trying to do this little, uh, you know, uh, thing for the females. You mind if your uh, wife come over here? And, and me, I'd be like, no, I ain't tripping. You know, I'm going to ask. Hey, baby, you want to go over there? Yeah, I got Because that's what she do. They going to want her around. You know, you ain't going to hire that wife that don't nobody want around. You know, that drunk ass wife always talking crazy. So I said all that. Y'all turned it into a lesson because y'all ass comment too much. I was trying not to read them, but I could see little words. I'm like, I might as well break down Proverbs 31. Let me see. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, Stacy, I definitely brag on my woman. You get up off of here, though. I, I'm going to talk to you later. Don't get to talking too much. Let me see. Uh, <laughs> let me see. And no man, woman, or child is above correction. That is absolutely right, my um, beloved concubine. And let me see. Who is that? Uh, Ozzy? I'm moving to Africa to find a wife after my post yesterday. Hey, look. Hey. It's some it's some wicked women in Africa too. Hey, hey, do I got I'm, I'm not finna read that script, Ozzy. Y'all, you ain't finna keep me on here. Where they talk about women. So it ain't just in America. Now, nah. I mean, I think we got a little rough over here because I know it's Judah over here. So our women are a little more spunky. So we gotta get us in order a little harder. But yeah, man, it's 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 we jacked up everywhere we scattered at. Yeah, oh, it ain't no problem, Amber. Much love, much love, Zipporah. Yeah, I'm good, sis. My lips just dry as hell. I do not know why. Like, these joints is crunchy dry, too. So y'all don't be making no memes about me circling my dry-ass lip. And it's staying dry. Like, I don't do no pills, drugs, none of that kind of stuff, but they dry as hell. I think You know what? It's because I've been talking so damn long. I Look, I ain't took a sip of water. I ain't took no water. Like I just been talking. I'm I'm literally surviving off jaw juice, so I'm about to go drink me a cold glass of water. I'm I'm gonna let y'all get away with this rusty lip lesson. It's on the A side, Chris. I'm already knowing for sure, sus. Make sure y'all don't get no aluminum for foil females. Janice, funny. Kafara, Israel, stop. Take a yeah.